I think we've shared a lot with you um, of what we we are trying to do in collaboration with you. But as we do this, uh, we recognize that uh, even to reach where we have reached, it has been a journey where uh, we've had people who have stood by us or supported us in various ways, encouraging us um, to do what we do. Because for those who understand this industry, it's not the easiest. And uh, yeah, so allow me to acknowledge and appreciate a few colleagues who have really uh, stood by us or supported us in various ways. It's just to recognize whatever contribution they have had in the status of what we we are and where we are trying to go. Allow me to start by uh, uh, appreciating the experts who we call them experts, we call them associates, we call them colleagues because they really work with us on so many fronts. So allow me to start by acknowledging and appreciating a lady who has uh, been a very strong rock in our activities. Please let's clap for Margaret Nakakande. When we started the Pitch Fest program, she was actually the lead. And uh, she still is in that committee that drives to ensure that we recognize and identify entrepreneurs that have potential. And so this is just to appreciate the sacrifice and the... Let me ask uh, one of our friends from Yuri to... Max, please come and... <laughs> hand this over uh, as a partner uh, you've been hosting us at Yuri but she has been the one leading our pack so please thank you Margaret for your support I don't know if we need to give a okay thank you very much uh, please uh, you are still you're still to remain here the next one who has uh, he has even moved across Uganda to coordinate this speech fest and uh, he has been our very first and still is one of our core MCs <laughs> is none other than Tom Vesije. Tom we really appreciate the sacrifice and the support you've given us throughout um, our various programs You, it's <laughs> Thank you so much, Tom, uh, for your contribution and support. Also, allow me to appreciate and acknowledge this lady. Is I don't know if it is psychological or industrial. There's this psychological. So she has been a, a, a spirit of encouragement to Imuka. And allow me to appreciate her. She's by the name of Rita Namutebi. Thank you, Rita, for supporting our... I think all the experts who are enjoying now, they, they are benefiting because uh, you stood by us and supported us as we were. She has been in so many meetings um, with various partners and stakeholders. So thank you so much. And there is somebody who has to ensure that our books are in order and ensures that we are very accountable not only to others but to ourselves and ensures that our audits, uh, financials and are very clear. Please allow me to acknowledge Joel who has been with us for a good chunk of time and is still our financial advisor when it comes to our finances. Thank you so much, Joel, for ensuring that we are in the clean health of 
the taxman and uh, compliant in all our engagements. Thank you very much. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge the following partners who even had confidence when we were still looking out for the confidence. So, uh, allow me to acknowledge Mr. Eria Kawireku from UIA, Uganda Investment Authority. I've known Eria for, I think, over 10 years now. Because we met, please come and share. We met, I met Eria when I was running and managing Mara Foundation, and Eria stood with us since all those years. Everything we share, we are trying to do, he says, yeah, keep on doing what you do, and thank you so much, Eria, for all the support. But Eria, you will remain because uh, you also had another pillar who supported us. I think when we started Pitchfest, Madam Winnie came to the very first one in Fort Porto and even moved in Lira with us, moved. I think uh, uh, Uganda Investment Authority was so much with us when we were doing some of these activities. So please, on behalf of Madam Winnie, please receive this and... She will, she will not receive <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. So thank you, uh, Max. Let me ask, uh, let me ask uh, our, our one of our advisors, Mr. Bray, to come forward and, uh, and hand over some of this. So we'd like also to acknowledge uh, uh, I'm not seeing him here, but he, I think he's around is uh, Mr. Bukenya Daniel from Goldstone. Uh, is it? I thought I saw he should be in a meeting. He stepped out, but he's around. So Daniel, um, met Daniel, I think, introduced me to his brother who he worked with and even connected some entrepreneurs to, his, to a fund he was managing. But beyond that, Daniel joined Imuka and worked with us for about six months. And... Uh, he simply wanted to have things in order and systems and he really helped us and guided us. We worked on some projects with him. So we really appreciate his contributions towards where Imuka is. So you will pick it on his behalf, please. Uh, he's around, but he, I, he told me he's in a, a meeting. So please pick it on his behalf. We just appreciate his contribution towards uh, yes. <laughs> Thank you very much, and please pass our sincere gratitude. Please, you still. Then uh, we would like also to thank Mr. and Professor Charles Kwesiga of Uganda Industrial Research Institute, represented here by Mr. Max. When we, <laughs> when when we started Pitchfest. We didn't have the resources, and uh, we submitted to Charles and asked him, please, be our host so that we can support entrepreneurs. And he willingly has hosted Pitchfest in Kampala for the last three editions that we've had. Please, this is just a sincere thank you to, to please, we appreciate everything he has done to us, or for us. Okay, Daniel, you can come and officially receive your, officially, because we need to take a photo. <laughs> so bring the gift and receive it officially. <laughs> huh? So, uh, Daniel, I was mentioning that uh, you came into Imuka and supported us, organized ourselves, and uh, we worked on a couple of projects with you. Please, allow me to appreciate Mr. Daniel Bukenya for his contribution and support. What we've got. Thank you so much, Daniel. Sorry for having to say something, and I needed to say it. Yes, I supported Roy uh, when he had started out in Moka. Uh, when I left, when I was at Unisocial Social Business with him, Roy was uh, my direct report, uh, and he used to do our marketing and stuff like that, eh? uh, social media and strategy. strategy. And then later, <coughs> uh, 
uh, the contract uh, got finished and I had to get on the street. And guess who employed me? Roy employed me. So please don't burn bridges, don't put hierarchy, because sometimes things flip. So he employed me for about six months, and I, I want to say that I learned a lot, Roy, from you. Goldstone, you see Goldstone moving up and down, eh? but the main building blocks were the fact that I sat with this guy for six months, and also sat with another guy who is now at MIT for about nine months, called uh, Patrick Monduga. And that's where I learned to stop being an employee, and become an employer. So th Roy, thanks. I should be also giving you something today, but uh, soon and very soon we'll do. <laughs> we'll do something that uh, will also recognize you. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Daniel. Now I'd like to also acknowledge one of our most consistent clients. Uh, is, it, uh, is it client or employers of Imuka? And then she also became an associate and we worked together on quite a number of projects. Please allow me to acknowledge Claire Kaga, who is one of our ESG associates, but also uh, through Rebi was one of our most consistent employers in our activities. Please, let's give her a round of applause. Thank you so much, Claire, for the confidence you had in us and in supporting uh, the entrepreneurs that were under Rebi. And uh, actually through her, we've also been trained on green, climate smart, and all those activities that we've been involved in green financing. It's because of um, her confidence in what we do. So thank you so much, Claire, for the support. Um, yes, please, you can take a seat. Allow me to ask Alice to come and hand this over. So in what, we, in what we do and what we have done, we would like to acknowledge the first entrepreneurs who, who trusted us. Uh, I remember even before Imuka, I think I met, um, so Florence, you'll pick two gifts, one for yourself and others. So before we started Imuka, I think um, I was just leaving Mara when um, but I was so interested in the investment space and connecting because so many entrepreneurs who were supporting us mentorship, at the end they were saying, okay, so how best can we access financing? And one of the first activities we were involved was a program where I think Yasa Yakako, who was by then with Chap Chap, came and uh, we mentored them and they won $5,000. So that made the path look clear that we need to move in that direction. And from that on, Chap Chap Africa had not just re registered. It actually registered and started support with us. And it took about a year, and we started seeing them raise funds. I think they are now scaling out of the country. But it's because they trusted and saw confidence in what we could do that we are now doing what we do for others. So uh, Florence, since you are supported together, please come and receive on behalf of Emmanuel Modek of Chap Chap. They had a retreat, that's why he couldn't make it, but please come and receive on his behalf. Please, a round of applause for Chapter Africa. Now, I've, but the, hold on, so that she will just receive for Chap Chap, uh, we'll just give her, but now her gift is, she's also one of those who also took chance on us. We used to take tea, Boiling their tea in, uh, she knows, she, will, she can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Working very late to, to ensure that things are in order. And fortunately, I am, I am really blessed to see that Florence was working from her kitchen and home. And now she has a very, very big facility in uh, Gayaza Sonde. Eh? Not, uh, there is the Kijabjo there in near Busika very big facility and she's supplying so many um, supermarkets and with very nutritious products. So Florence, thank you so much. This one is yours. For Chap Chap, we shall just give you. Hey, they have already given you. Okay, put this one here. So a round of applause for herself.
Thank you, Florence. Uh, you, are, you are one of our stories that inspires us, that transformation when we see where you are trying to go and where you are from. So what keeps us strong to see that even when an entrepreneur comes to us when they are, like we can believe and take them far. So thank you so much, Florence, for being an inspiration. You want to say something? Thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm sorry I came a bit late. I had so much to do before I reached here. Yesterday I met Roy and I told him whether late I'll try to be here. We were in Fairway Hotel. I want to thank Roy and I appreciate his effort. I met Roy in 2019 at, uh, when he was working with the lady from Netherlands, Mara Foundation, and he was doing mentoring. When Mara closed, Roy picked up and started working. He was lucky he got blessed at the campus. As he said, we used to go there. I would carry my peanut butter for our lunch, and then we boil the water with the kettle. We eat, we talk, we do our work together. He connected me to Makere Food Science and Nutrition, where I worked with Dr. Robert Mugabe, and I want a project from private sector from there. And I learned a lot from there. And also with NSV, that competition was tough. I remember the deadline for the project. I was at 1 p.m. at Makere that night, a married woman. <laughs> and my husband had given me time, even if you are doing business. I was working also by that time as a national coordinator at Uganda Episcopal Conference. The time I was given to reach home was always 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. And once I see a phone call coming at 10, I knew it was my husband calling. But that night he called in vain, I didn't answer. <laughs> I left, I was so worried. I was driving, I didn't know the route from Makere to Branch to Wandegea. I asked Roy, can you help me direct me, be in the vehicle until I reach the road? So when I reach the road, then I connected now to Namugongo and I reached home. I found my husband was at the gate and happy. And I said, no, when I win the money, you will enjoy. So when I got, the, when I won the, the, uh, the project with the NSV, I got $100,000. It was because of Roy. And that's when I started foundations of my project of the building and changing strategy of my business to have standard and quality as the pain and working with women. And we have been from day one up to now with Roy. Sometimes he sends me messages, programs, and I'm like, Roy, I don't need this. But he keeps on calling. There is a program we are doing now with our uh, finance. I refused it but I had no way out until I said yes. But I want to tell you that my finance teams are very happy with Michael, with his team, and they are, they are there. I feel I saw them only twice, I've not been with them. And because of that foundation, really, and through that, that's where I also met Brian, and Brian did a lot for us too, just because of this. And with business, you need connections, you need connecting, you need to keep learning Learning is every day. Don't say I've reached there. You will never reach it. And the stress is always there. So I want to thank you so much, Roy. Roy had no staff. Today I see very many of them. You know, he was there struggling. Others would disorganize him. Others couldn't perform. He had a boy who didn't know what to do. <laughs> but he was, there. he was there with Roy. He kept on with the guy. So now if he's talking of having a full team who is well knowledge. You know, he didn't start from up there. He had a struggled and he struggled and today is here. And Roy, I want to wish you well that you bring many people to business and God bless you. Thank you so much for keeping there. Please don't forget me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even getting the microphone up. Hey, hey uh, you are still here, Alice. So allow me to recognize uh, Mr. Titus Ochien. He's one of our advisory board guys. These are people who tell us they had truth, whether we like it or not. You know, they normally say the, the best friends 
you have are the ones who correct you, not who please you. And so thank you, Titus. You've been a pillar in our activities. And thank you so much for your contribution in what we are becoming. Please give Titus a round of applause. Allow me also to recognize Mr. Brain as MCHAP. Uh, Brain is also one of our advisors, and uh, I, 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 I love Brain for his reality. He, he, he basically tells you thing, things the way they are, and the thing is uh, you have to consume it, and so thank you so much for your contribution and the support that you give us. I think the direction we are taking is because of your wise contribution in everything we do. Please, thank you very much. Brain will also pick for Doris, though we shall give her. So the other one is Doris Acheng. She is, uh, you will leave it here, but you will receive it. So Doris is one of, uh, she is the country, country lead of East Africa Venture Capital Association. Uh, she is she's the only lady in the, our advisors, and uh, she, uh, the, she has added a lot of insights, leading us on trends, what to focus on, and that contributes so much in our work. So please, on behalf of Doris, please receive this officially, but you leave it with us. <laughs> Thank you very much, Brain, and the team of advisors. <laughs> All right. Um, Thank you, Alice. So I think, um, well, as long as you are here, you will still live with the package. This was more of special recognition for these people who have really stood by us. Um, it's difficult to say to even cost the, the, the kind of support and sacrifice these people have made in what we are doing. So it's just a humble uh, gratitude for everything they do. And we also ap appreciate, we may not recognize everybody, but everything you do to support what we do, to collaborate with us, to work with us, we really appreciate. And we look forward to working with you more and further. Thank you very much. Over to you, Tom. <laughs>